So I then, so now I, here I am, and I wait there, and I go, okay, how am I feeling? And when I do a push-up, do I do a push-up a little bit more like this, right? Or do I do a push-up pretty much straight like this? Or do I put, do a push-up where I go, oh, that's about the point at which I don't want to go any further? Or do I push up where I go, I'm going to go down, but when I get down to the near the bottom, I'm going to shift over to one side and then come back up. Does that make sense? So if we now press stop, and if you now go back to the, um, go to the top, maybe I'll borrow it now, if that's all right. all right. So if we look where we're at, and I just, and we'll come up to screen here. All right. I should be able to press stop and then go through the data like that, right? Now, here I am here, and as we said before, I weigh that much, right? And then I go, okay, I'm, red is right or orange is right, and blue is left, and I go, oh, I'm much happier on my left arm, and I'm not happy on my right arm, and how much weight am I taking where that's 42 kilos, let's say 40, then that's probably in the vicinity of 20, but my right might only want to be able to take in the vicinity of 15. So we get this beautiful track information about how we might do each of the reps that we did in terms of the push-up. And so I'm the kind of clinician that likes two different, I like squiggly lines, and I like being able to see, it's really obvious that my left is better than my right in that story. In the same way as you can use the same piece of equipment for if you broke your ankle or you or you're hurt your knee and you were doing a sit to stand, you know how people will do a sit to stand and they'll dodge you over to one side? And you can really quantify people's improvement in their sit to stand and their pre-walking stuff. And it's just the extension of that that allows us to now use this really good piece of equipment to allow us to quantify what's happening from an upper limb point of view in terms of weight bearing, right? So you can see that, but you can also then switch to a metric where you go, I want to see what happened. And so in particular, I'll turn your attention to this, how deeply I went through my push-up, right? Where I did my first one pretty well, and then I went, actually, that's really hard. So it'll tell you how deep you're going in your push-ups as well, so that you can now, uh, you can basically check whether your patient is getting improving in terms of the depths of their capacity to push and, and how their wrist, involved, their wrist range looks. And then you go, the patient will say, oh, no, I don't really trust what I looked like there, and allows you to look at the video aspect of that. So you can go, no, I want to look at, at about half speed, how confidently I went through, let's say, one, uh, rep one, or what I looked like in rep, in the third rep. Did I, you know, did I at, you know, really slow speed, what do I look like as I, and you, know, you can toggle through it. And you'll notice, actually, wrist extension. You have the most wrist extension at the top, right? Whereas you're actually using your muscular system much more when you're in the lower end of that range, which leads us to the next, next aspect of what we want to look at in terms of rehab.